If you need cheap and safe MLB 23 stubs, make sure check out U4GM and use my coupon code CAP for 5% off, link in the description. Yo, what is going on guys? We have a stub making about the video for you guys today. Uh, before we do get into it, I do want to say we're about to hit 10,000 subscribers. Um, I mean, it's the last chance for you guys for my MLB side of the channel because other than that, I know that Madden's coming out soon. So if you guys want to enter this giveaway and win it pretty easily because I'm not going to get viewers as much on these MLB videos than these Madden videos. All you guys need to do is like the video, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be giving away three $50 gift cards, one for Xbox, one for PlayStation, and one for Steam. Like I said, all you guys need to do is just like the videos, subscribe, and comment down below. It's, pr it's All of it's free, and I'm literally like 60 subscribers off. Like I said, when Madden drops, I know I'm going to hit that easily. I'm going to hit 10K, um, and, you know, I'm going to be going back to pulling, like, thousands of viewers. So if you guys want to, you know, easy chance at this giveaway right now, then now's the time. Now, with that being said, another thing um, is people talking about my sponsor, whether or not they are legit. They are legit. Uh, I understand that stubs are 50% off, but you can still get them for even cheaper on my um, my sponsor's site. They'll deliver your stubs pretty quickly, and you will not get banned. I have not been banned yet this year. I mean, you can see it's top left still has my gamer tag on my videos. I'm promoting them. I've gotten stubs off them a couple times to give away, and I have not gotten banned. Um, I'm pretty low on subs right now because I've been messing around with my team a little bit. I know none of my players on my team are crazy expensive, but... Um, I bought the Shoshita for like 80k, the, like not the other day, but like like a week or two ago, and yeah, I just been like messing around with packs. I opened up one of these right here for some reason. I thought this pack, by the way, was gonna give me. It was contains two diamond duos choice packs. For some reason, I'm an idiot. I thought I was gonna get two two of these diamond guys, so I opened it. Horrible, and then I did a 75,000 pack. Because I tried to get that Ellie Daily Cruise. It was just horrible. I didn't even get a single diamond in it. It was crazy. The only diamond I got was the topper. And I forgot who it was. It was like complete garbage. So stay away from packs as always. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to make the best stubs right now. And that will be the show. So first thing I like to do is I like to go to Marketplace. And I'm going to be teaching you guys how to flip right now. Flipping is going to be the best thing in MLB right now. So make sure you guys are paying attention. Um... I mean, I always say this first off, <clears throat> if you guys have like 250,000 plus stubs, which I highly doubt, you, pr you guys probably wouldn't be watching this video if you guys did, but if you guys, you know, do have 250,000 plus stubs, then I advise you guys to just literally straight up offer up on every single sponsorship card you guys see twice. It's going to be the easiest way to make coins, or not coins, stubs. Um, pretty much just offer up on every sponsorship twice, it's going to be a decent amount, and then in like a day... Not even two, just a day, or maybe not even a day, maybe like 12 hours later or something. You win all the cards, and um, you're going to be able to sell them for like two, three times the value. So if you had 250k and you started off, and you had zero stubs at the end of flipping all of this, and then you flip it, you're going to have like about 400 to 500k stubs literally in a day of doing that. And trust me, I was doing that when I had a ton of stubs, and then it, it, just, it just got really repetitive. I don't know. It's not like Madden for me. I'm not really like enjoying making stubs into this game it's kind of boring to make stubs in the game uh as in for madden for me i enjoy making that because i you know there's a lot more ways to make coins in madden than comparing to mlb where you're kind of stuck just flipping um so it got repetitive and i just kind of quit it made a team just started playing like co-op but uh if i'm gonna be picking main ones for you guys to be flipping i'm gonna show you guys today what the main ones i'd be flipping is if you guys want to just stick to flipping specific ones we'll start off with this nike one right here this nike one's been very consistent ever since i've started flipping in the beginning of this year um this this sponsorship has kept its value i mean it has four thousand um it's four thousand stubs above four thousand six hundred subs above what the what the price buying prices for that you guys can get it for um so if i put a buy order in right now for about like seven thousand three hundred and five let's say i want it I would just strictly sell it for a thousand. I mean, eleven thousand five hundred and fifty. And look, I would still get three thousand one hundred stubs profit. So that's the kind of glitch about flipping right now. Is a lot of people when they try to flip, they're gonna just be like, oh, eleven thousand eight hundred and forty-five. Like, don't do that because someone's gonna just undercut you, 
and your your car is gonna get long lost. It's gonna take a f forever to sell. Undercut by like 300 because at the end of the day, you're still making 3,000 stubs off this, and it's just gonna help the process be smoother and smoother. So that's what I like to do a lot of the times. So the Nike one's pretty good. The Jordan one is also really good. As you guys can see, it's damn near double its value. So um, if I was to offer up for 6K and win it, all I would have to do is just sell it, and I would probably sell it for like 9,850 because that's pretty fair right there. And look, I'm gonna still be making myself over. 3,000 stubs again. So imagine if you guys are just constantly flipping just these two cards, the Nike and the Jordan. Um, you're going to make 3,000 subs per flip. So, I mean, on the bright side, that's 6K every time you do just two of them. Um, and on the downside, I mean, sometimes it can be kind of slow, but that's why I'm giving you the best ones, in my opinion, to flip. The Jordan one and the Nike one's very, very consistent. Um, but when it comes to cheaper ones, if you guys don't have that many stubs, then stuff like this right here, like this type of sponsorship, this bird band, um, bats, um, is pretty good to flip because that's one of the things I was flipping when I was pretty broke on stubs. Um, I mean, this one right here is pretty good to flip as well. I don't know. It's just a dang sponsorship. But, uh, yeah, the Nike and the Jordan one's pretty much my favorite ones. And if you guys don't want to flip sponsorships for whatever reason, then you guys could do equipment as well. My favorite equipment to flip has to be uh, this right here. This battery is extended double elbow guard. It's just always been consistent at flipping. And like I said, if you if you win this for like 6900 and I want to sell it off for 9850 I'm going to be making myself 2000 subs off this. So it's less than the uh, um, sponsorships. But in my opinion, it might be a little bit quicker. So... Um, I mean, it just depends on the time of day that you're doing it at. I like to flip all these gloves right here. These gloves are pretty really... Like, look, look, look at the gaps between them. But the thing is, if you look on the left side of the price, you, and you go down, it's not that good of a price because they're all just dropping drastically. From the bottom to the top, it's like an eight, 800 stub gap. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. It's on the buy. Look below. 3,614. 4,443. That just makes it tricky to flip because you just don't know if people are buying it or not. But in my opinion, my the, the fa my favorite things that I, equipment to flip has to be the back rips. They've always been consistent. They've always sold quick. They've always bought quick, um, and they always have gaps between them. So, if, and case scenario for this one, I'd buy it for like twelve thousand two hundred fifty, and then I would sell it for um, I would sell it for like fifteen thousand seven hundred fifty. And you're gonna make yourself two thousand subs profit. So every single one I've showed you guys so far, and there's another backup right here for the same thing, and then another one right here for the same exact thing. Um, but everything I just showed you guys right there should make you guys three to you know two to three k stubs every time you're flipping it, just individually. If you guys don't have any stubs, then uh, start off with the smaller ones. Maybe do wooden bats on equipment, or for sponsorships, just do the ones you guys could get for the cheapest and just flip because all sponsorship cards are honestly really good to flip. But I showed you guys the most consistent ones. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think. And I'll have another video for you guys um, tomorrow. Just because I'm trying to get more consistent on all this. So, appreciate all the support. And I'll have another video for you guys tomorrow. Peace out.